Hey guys, Statics here. Welcome to episode three of the Minecraft Survival series. Last episode, we got into some enchanting. I showed you the house, showed you the farm. Today, I'm going to fix what's going on over here with the animals. Because, uh, as you can see, we fixed the pigman situation. So we've got that under control. Thank you for the, all the comments down below on episode two saying that it's the lightning. I completely forgot about that. That lightning strikes pigs, it turns them into pigment. So we're going to build a structure that covers the animals, hopefully. Uh, and uh, we're going to show you over here. We're going to show you our little, some villagers and maybe some other things. First, you know what we got to do? We got to farm. So let's do our Minecraft duties, do some farming. Now, as you may tell, I have another set of planks here. I uh, set up to record, and in the time that I was record, recording, I was pulled away from my computer, and in that time I died. Thankfully, somebody on the server saved my stuff, but all of our levels are gone, so we're starting at zero. So we go in here, we now have a diamond hoe. That's pretty huge. We have too much stuff in the inventory. So you have gold armor there. But to begin, you know what we gotta do? Gotta get out the good old fortune hoe and farm. So yeah, so just to start, we'll get over there and we'll fix up our pig situations. So we're no longer getting that pigment. And then we've show you the villagers that we have going on. This this hasn't grown too much. I don't think I'm gonna worry. Can we knock down the level threes at least and we'll put some more back in here. So yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to build some sort of pen over here for these guys. Now that it reminds me, we should probably get a little bit of feeding in. So we'll take, I didn't get, I got 17. We need wheat. My wheat is just not doing. We need to get some bone meal. We need to get some wheat. So my cows are starving. Yes. Eat your wheat. All your wheat. Make the little cows. We might have to expand this a little bit. Some for the sheep. And some pigs. A lots of room for the pigs. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to cut down these trees to kind of open it up a little bit here. Then we can... Uh, just build some of our semi-structures so we can get a roof over their heads. So we'll take that out. It's so nice just to have efficiency on a axe. You know, two swipes and a log is gone. You know. It's good. So we can do this one. It's cleared. So these should clear up any moment and then we'll take our we've also named our some of our tools so we have earth wrecker because we have efficiency four on here i haven't named the uh the axe yet we can get some more things on there i got breaking and efficiency i don't know any other top notch on there maybe you know some bending over here we've got fortune three and efficiency five on our diamond pickaxe so that's pretty good and then over here 
The bringer of pain. We've got looting three, some fire aspect, and some sweeping edge. So uh, I'm going to take this over to the, uh, the Enderman farm and see what happens while we go over there. But we've got two names. So we got Earthwrecker and bringer of pain. So if you got any good names for a, an axe or a, or a uh, pickaxe, uh, put them down below. I'm always up to it. And uh, if you need to get picked, maybe we put your name beside the name as well. I'm always open to rewarding people that leave comments and good names and all that stuff. So always open to name things as long as it's good, you know, but this thing just can tear dirt just in no time. It's just crazy. And I think I've gone too far, but that's okay. Just fill, fill up a little bit of the holes, you know, leave, leave it too messy. Okay. Uh, let's fix it. Okay. We'll clear that up in another, another time. But for right now, we need to extend this and extend this at least two and you know what let's do three cuz we don't just in case we need to expand you know our pigs are starting to uh, expand their allotted space already grab that tree our sheep are filled. Our cows are filled. We're gonna have to uh, have to get in there, actually, and, and clear some cows. But not this episode. Not yet. So you know what we can actually do is we can actually clear up a little space back here too. Just a couple spaces along here, and. Few rows here as well. As long as there's some dirt, old pickaxe. Back a little bit. Some, some coal. Coal's always nice. And look how fast that goes. You remember the first episode we were doing? Holy! Fly through that coal now. Efficiency. Huge. Alright. Let's, uh... Bring back... This and just, you know... Fill this up so we're not spawning anything in here. That would be bad. We can also... Open this... Right up so that we can bring our farm right back here and we are going to actually need some some cobblestone so let's head up to the inventory and uh thinking get some cobble i think we'll do some cobble but we're gonna have to make it into how much stone do we have actually that's a that's a better idea you know since it actually is going to be A spot. Actually, we we have the prepped stone already. So why don't we do that? Because it's gonna take quite a bit. Then we can turn that into that, which we can do right now. And take stone that. And then maybe we you know what we can mix in some stone as well. I want to mix in some fence too. Kind of keep what we got going here. But just a nice, you know, simple, simple, simple little s structure. Maybe, you know what? Start with some logs. We'll go all the way to the back here, which I believe is here for right now. Do 
want to go any further. That's big enough, no? That is plenty. Might have to clear a little of this out, but for right now. Oh, you know what? That's going to... Well, we're going to build up the wall, so we'll do that first. Because that's going to give us a problem. We'll have to clear out this tree. As well. A couple trees here we got to clear out. Back up on our thing here. And you know what? We're just going to throw some odd... Pieces of stone and cobblestone in here to kind of a little mixture. And uh, right here, did we do the spruce? We did the spruce logs, right? Spruce, spruce. Yeah, we did some spruce logs. So let's stick with that. Or I and you mixing in different pieces Okay. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> All right. So continuing on, we can clear out these trees so we can see a little bit better. And now we can kind of just pick. That might have been too much pick random spots and just throw in some detailed bits. There we go for that. But the true meaning of this, there we go, you know, it just breaks it up a little bit at the end. Uh, we need some more over here. So let's, that's there, there, and up there. Just some. Throw in some bits and pieces. Go. There. Go. As you can see, get close to the pigs. Frames kind of just drop off. I do wonder. Because if we could do fence as a roof, it wouldn't get so dark in here. That would be really nice. Alright, so this is the finished product and what we could come up with. So I've gone with like a log, log side, log top, you know, stone bricks front sides and front just for some design and I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh the fences i like fences when they uh, they open up a room they don't make it seem so closed in so we're going with that with the roof just to bring the light in and everything so you don't have to worry about spawning but we we've we've lined up the lanterns made everything bright so we don't get any creepers or anything in there we're good we expanded it a little bit got more more lambs Pigs, more cows, everything. Added some carpets so we can hop up here. Easy, easy feeding. We go up and down the lines. I think one thing I might do is just push this back one and push that one over too. But uh, seems to be working. So 
that is taken care of. No more Pikmin spawning from lightning. Again, thanks for the comments. But the next thing I wanted to show you is our starter village. We've got three residents going on down here. First, we've got our clerks where they sell you the the goods. I've got one fully leveled to master. Um, the only really good thing that they sell is the bottle of enchanting, and if you get the nether wart farm, then you know you can do the emeralds. Um, the pearls are good, but we have an enderman farm, so we really don't need this. And uh, so you can catch a, you can get a few things for you know cheap prices, but it wasn't as good as I thought it was. So we haven't paid too much attention, but this. This is our emerald generation farm. As you can see, I have a lot of glass on me. So what we're doing is we come up to here and we're going to basically pump glass panes out of here. Just going to fill it, throw those there. I come up to him. We're just going to generate... He's being fussy for some reason. He sh he's camera shy. We're just going to pop him out until he says, I got no more. And he's still out. We've done some training already today, so. But we just do this. And it gives us lots and lots of emeralds. Glass is really easy to make. Especially pains. All right. So all that, all that glass gave us sixty-three emeralds. We still have some left here. So we go through here, put those in, pop those. That'll give us a few more here. There we go. Right here. Uh, he's uh, on to the next guy. Should probably give him a second so he can upgrade. Give him a second so he can upgrade. Back. Oh. So this is basically where we're making our emeralds. And then we go in and we can come over here. And this is our our farmers. We've got one leveled up to master. So he sells a few things. Um, so we've got the glistening melon slice. We've got the golden carrots where you can get the suspicious stews. And then as well for a trade in, he's got pumpkins and melons. Which uh, we may or may not be building a melon farm. So catch on that in a future one and then these guys aren't fully fully upgraded but they're getting there so we're uh, we're buying the breads we're buying the apples we're buying the cookies to get them going so that we can also get the gold carrots from them and uh, a little sneak peek that's where the farm is going that will be in a future episode also uh, we're gonna try and do an elevator so that all this it's going to be stock for the melons. So that's just a sneak, sneak peek. But over to our library. You just need to... Yes, thank you. Okay. Yes, don't don't ask about this. Somebody in the server did that. But yes, so this is our library. We've got a Oh no. Oh well, it must be outside. We've got uh, a bunch of library. With here with the lecterns, we've got a bunch of uh books that have been chosen that I want to keep. And then uh, with the upgrades kind of things we've gone through there, we've got some Top notch books, not great prices because I didn't didn't do the the zombies. So 
Um, we're still going to work on that, but the new guys that I'm bringing in and that we are doing the zombies. So, but a few of them, we've got, uh, got that. We've got the efficiency five. We've got, uh, protection four. We've got feather falling four. We've got a mending. We've got a silk touch. And, uh, don't mind the zombies at the front door. But up here, we've got some more. We've got two open spots. So this is where we'll be going to be bringing in the zombie ones. But we got a sharpness four. We got a lure. We got a thorns. We only have a looting one. It's been real hard to get a looting. So we're still working on this guy. As you can see, he's still in the cart. And then this guy. We've got a power five. So that's been pretty good. But uh, two more guys. Hopefully... Uh, Hopefully you can get better looting. That's probably one of the ones. And uh, some other top-notch books that we can we can put for sale. Um, over here we've got some stored away. So we've got a couple silk touch. We've got low look and see, lure, and, and piercing. I think we got rid of the piercing guy though. So that's probably the one of the only ones that are left of that. This is... I don't think I have a minecart on me. Do not. Um, this is the underground. Where we're going to turn them into zombies. We can go down here. Let's we'll take a little peek. So they come in and they go up there. As you can hear, we have a current zombie villager waiting for us he is right there we're just gonna take a wide step around around him so he can't hit us but um yeah we tried to we tried to get a zombie we tried to get one spawning in there uh i brought one down we got him but he got out and got everywhere so we had to basically uh we had to kill the other zombie but uh we brought, kept him here, so he's uh, he's sticking around. But we're gonna have to uh, cure him and then bring him up to the to the library and get him started. And then we've got our uh, our breeder going here, where uh, you know minecarts here, pops them out, brings them in, stops them. So what I'm what the plan is. Is we got a lever here to deactivate these so he stops here and then have a lever here which then have a piston right here but I need to drop the piston so we need to make the piston lower I didn't make it didn't make it low enough I didn't bring my shovel did I Yeah, and I don't even have my axe either. So that's that's for another time. That's the plan. Got that guy going. We hit that. He goes to the library or wherever we're taking them, and then we move on. But that is the uh, the farm. It's underground, so we got everything going there. Still haven't solved our zombie issues. Lots and lots of zombie issues. Look at that, one shot. This bow, power five and flame. It's not even top tier yet. Still good. Anyways, we got some nighttime going. It's uh, oh, hello creeper. Oh, that's not what we want. And he's down. I'll take your gunpowder. Thank you. So uh, let's go do quick sleep. So that's going to be it for episode three. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, appreciate it. If you could, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button as well. If you have any good ideas, for any builds that we could be doing, leave a comment down below. Always looking for ideas or suggestions or 
if you have a name, if you would like to name one of these buildings, our library, our cleric, or our farm stand, leave a comment down below and we'll all choose the best one. We put it on there and we'll put your name on it. Give a little shout out. As always, appreciate it. See you in the next one.